Okay. Um, voila. So what we have here is some, some decimals. <laughs> and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a different technique for decimals, but um, to kind of make it easier. But a lot of times, you know, it's not too bad. Just use the same operations. And that's what I'm gonna use for this one is just use a calculator um, to help you solve it out. Decimals is going to um, not change the way that we're gonna solve equations. So here I have 1.3 plus 0.5 times x equals negative 3.41. And again, I will show you an easier, not maybe if that's an easier way, but another way to manipulate the equation so you're dealing with easier numbers. But sometimes you're not gonna have that opportunity and it's not maybe, your problem's not gonna afford something that's gonna be that simple. So you should know how to just solve using decimals anyways. So again, I'm just gonna use my inverse operations. What is happening to my variable x? Well, it's being multiplied by 0.5 and it's being added by 1.3. So to undo adding 1.3, I need to subtract. 1.3 on both sides. Well, 1.3 minus 1.3 is going to obviously um, get us to zero. So therefore, I'm just left with 0.5x equals negative 4.71. All right. Then I just look at this and I say, all right, well, now what I need to do is I need to undo what the multiplication of 0.5. So I'm going to divide by 0.5. Okay. We can divide on 0.5. Remember, uh, you know, you can just check your calculator, make sure it's going to work. Um, but remember, 0.5 is the same thing as one half, right? And dividing by one half is a, is equivalent to multiplying by two. So really, what I'm doing is I'm just multiplying negative 4.71 times two. So that's going to leave me with a negative 9.42. So there you go. There's your solution. The value of x equals negative 9.42. Obviously, we can plug it back in to make sure it works. There you go. Thanks.